Aladdin and Abu escape and deliver the lamp to Jafar. But he tricks them and seals them into the cave. Fortunately, Abu cleverly stole the lamp from Jafar. In order to read the writing on the old lamp, Aladdin rubs it with his, get ready for this, sleeve and poof. A genie appears and declares that Aladdin is his new master. But first, he invites Aladdin to the, into the lamp. Like, I don't know if that's another way to say arm, um, but, I mean, it would have made a lot more sense if Aladdin was wearing, like, a long sleeve, pretty much. Then they could say sleeve, but I don't know. It, it's, I, like, till this day, I'm just, like, really confused by that one little, uh, sentence, that one word sentence saying he rubbed it with his sleeve when he's not wearing a long sleeve. Anyway, I'm rambling too much. Welcome back, everyone, to some more Let's Play. Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. I am host, of course, Mr. HP Knows the X. And in the last episode, we entered and escaped the Cave of Wonders. And we retrieved the magic lamp. We gave it to Jafar. But Jafar locked us, sealed us into the Cave of Wonders. But luckily, Abu stole back the lamp. Clever, kudos to you, um, Abu, definitely. And we are in after that we are introduced to the character that steals the movie. Like he made it his own movie as soon as he comes out of that magic lamp. I'm of course talking about the genie, voiced by none other than the late great Robin Williams. Man, oh my god, dude. Freaking Robin as soon as the genie comes in, Robin Williams stole And he also stole my life. Anyway, he stole the freaking movie. It, he made it his own movie. Like Aladdin, starring Robin Williams, pretty much. <laughs> and um, especially the song. The first song that he sings, Friend Like Me. Man, my all time favorite Disney song. It's so, so good. And I actually like how they added the song into the Super Nintendo version. It's, a, it's so nice to hear Friend Like Me in 16-bit. It really does. It really it does. Sorry, I'm just like in excitement right now. I'm freaking messing up. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, it's it's nice to hear Friend Like Me on six, in 16-bit pretty much. And um, oh, look at that. You see that? Air Man Tornadoes from Mega Man 2. <laughs> like literally, it Capcom made this game like who wouldn't bear that resemblance right there like it looks like a modern take on like to the airman tornado uh in the airman stage like a modern look of it pretty much I also actually almost got hit by that tornado actually holy crap but anyway it's time to spin the wheel one more time so I did a quick google search about what happens when you land on genie the genie gives you an extra heart container and that makes sense since, you know, the genie icon is like very, the space of it is like very little and stuff to make it more impossible for players to land on the genie icon. So yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, we're good. We actually needed some one ups, but we got two ups though. So that's even better. <laughs> but yeah, but um, yeah, so, oh my God, like, um, I guess I should talk about what I think about the, the 2019 live-action remake of Aladdin. Um, I enjoy it. I honestly do enjoy the remake. I honestly do. I thought everybody did a good job. Mena, Naomi Scott, Will Smith. Um, especially Will Smith. Like, trust me. When Will Smith, like, the beginning of the movie, like, yeah, you know, the One Jump Ahead song was re was really well done but then like after that kind of was like a little slow and everything but as soon as will smith comes out he steals the show and the thing is with his version of the genie it's his own like he made it his own version 
Like he ne like his attention was never to copy Robin Williams because nobody could imitate what Robin Williams did for for the genie and stuff. Ro like Will Smith did such a good job, and I give kudos to Will Smith. I I'm not saying this like like I'm not. I'm, st I'm not saying this because I like the movie and everything, but I believe that this movie was going to be good. I believe that this movie was, that Will Smith was going to do a good job as the genie. Like, I felt like maybe he wasn't, tr like, in even an interview, he said he was going to bring his own version of it. And I honestly approve of that because no one could imitate what Robin Williams did. And he did a good job. I could say that right now. Um... There was some moments where I thought it was like, where it kind of scratched my head and stuff, but, and the guy who played Jafar, he did okay, I mean, I kind of was, I, I expected him, like, he was, he was okay, like, he did a okay job, but he was pretty good, he, he really was, and stuff, um, and giving that, and giving Jazz, Princess Jasmine her own song, uh, Speechless, Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I honestly think it's so freaking beautiful. Um, she, Naomi Scott did a good job as Princess Jasmine. Uh, Mena, I forget his last name. I'll just call him Mena. But Mena did a great job as Aladdin. Like, when he sings, he sounds exactly like Aladdin. It's just, it's scary. Like, it's good scary. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but kudos to the guys from the 2019 remake. And kudos to Guy Ritchie with who is the director of the remake and stuff kudos to them definitely but yeah you're almost here reaching the end be very careful um that's why i say it's a lot more easier when you get the parachute but anyway we have completed the level everybody thank you guys so much for watching this episode of let's play aladdin this has been mr spinoza x saying good night good morning good day whatever time you misers are watching this video I will see you Meisters on the next one. Alright everyone, bye.